how to draw dog in at least three ways. I've got a story to show us how to draw dog. Here's how you start. So with a pencil, you just draw an oval or a circular shape, and then you pick your line, curly, jaggy, or smooth. I think I'll give mine a smooth border. And basically I'm pretending that this is my garden. So there's my garden with my lovely smooth border. At the bottom of the garden, there's a little man with no arms, but he's got legs. If you want, you can give him feet, but you don't have to. The sun's not shining, so you can't see his face. But he's being annoyed by loads and loads of midges. And because there's no arms to waft them away, he jumps into his paddling pool. And that can be any shape you want. At the top of the garden are two windows. They could be round, they could be oval, or they could be arched. I think I'll do little round windows. Looking out of each window is a person. You can't see the person's face because they're in the shade, but there's a little fleck of light touching the top of their head. At the side of a garden is a bush. It could be growing up towards the sky or drooping down towards the ground. I think I'll have mine growing up towards the sky. And that's the story of how to draw a dog. Let's take that learning a little bit further. And this time let's do a dog standing. So I'm going to draw my garden with another garden next door. And this time I think I'll make mine a curly coated dog. So I'm going to do my garden again. I'm going to do the little man in the garden. He's got no arms, but he's got legs. He's in the shade. He's been annoyed by lots and lots of midges. He can't escape, so he jumps into his paddling pool. At the top of the garden, I've got two windows. I've done oval ones this time. There's a person looking out. At the side of the garden are two bushes. I think I'll have them drooping down towards the ground. So there's my dog with a curly coat. Now let's do his body. Two legs. Oh dear, I can't have sticks for legs. Let's make them end in a paw. Let's give him a tail. Oh dear, I can't have a piece of string for a tail. Let's make it a bit more tail-like. Now this is a tricky bit. I'm going to do his body, but I need to be mindful not to cut his legs in half. So I'm drawing his neck, his tummy, his bottom and his back. See how I've left those bits open as if he's wearing a onesie. Let's do the legs at the far side. Because they're at the other side, they're a little bit shorter. So another leg at the front and another leg at the back. Oh dear, no sticks. There we go. And there's my dog with a curly coat. Of course, you could make his legs as long or as short as you want. I'm now going to make this one into a sitting dog. So underneath there, I'm just going to draw another garden. Right, this time I'm going to give him two legs. He's sitting and they're jaggy because he's got a scruffy coat. Oh dear, no sticks. Make them a bit more leg-like and end in a paw. Let's give him a tail. Oh dear, no string. Now here's the tricky bit. So I'm going to draw the rest of his coat. Stop at his leg, don't cut it in half. Stop at his tail, don't cut it off. So there's my sitting dog, but he's no hind legs, no back legs. That one's a bit tricky because it's behind the tail. And then his kind of knobbly knees, a bit like a froggy's knees. You have fun drawing lots of different dogs. You might want to stop and start the video as you go along. Thanks for watching, have fun. How to draw a Westie. I'm going to start off with the basic outline. He's got quite a big head. 
And this bit is the most important bit, that basic outline. If you get that right, the whole drawing looks better. And then he's got quite a big body. It's a wee slant there at the back. So that's my Westy outline, the big head compared to the body. And then I'm going to swap over to a pen so that you can see mine. And I'm just going to use this sort of broken line. I'm going to start with the head, step one. He's a scruffy dog. So I'm using this scruffy broken line, something like that. To his nose, I'll shade that in and leave a line catcher. And he's kind of grumpy. And he's got this kind of like moustache. Let's do his little eyes. Just shade those in and leave a light catcher. And just sort of resting on the wee line. And it kind of looks like he's got eyebrows. Now let's add some more furry markings inside. Step two, I'm going to add his ears. Could make that look 3D by doing that or I could just go around his ears like so. And then I'm going to draw his legs on the near side. One at the front, they're quite short, and one at the back. Notice how the one at the back kind of bends almost the way your el elbow bends. But I can't have sticks for legs, so I'm just making those into wee pores. They're quite stocky, something like that. And I'll give him his wee tail kind of points in that direction. Step four, I'm going to draw the rest of his coat. I need to be mindful not to cut his legs in half. Let's draw his back. And then his tummy. I'm going to just change the shape a wee bit. Like that. Then finally, I'm going to draw the legs at the far side, which because they're at the far side, they look a little bit shorter. And let's just add some more texture to him. Because he's a scruffy wee dog. So that's my drawing of how to draw Westy. I'm gonna have a bit of fun with that in a moment. And I'm going to make this one into a Scotty dog and this one into a Westie. And to make this into a Scotty dog, I'm going to take some charcoal and I'm just going to scribble over that one and just smudge it in because the Scotty dog. He's the one with the dark coat. And this one here, I'm going to make that one my Westie. So I'm going to take a white oil frame. And I'm just going to use a scribbly technique. And just colour some of that in. And then I'm going to pause my video for a minute while I get some paint again. So here's my Scotty dog and I've shaded him in with black charcoal. Charcoal's a bit of burnt stick, and then I've smudged it, so I've got dirty fingers. I can, of course, rub bits out. And here's my Westy, he's gonna be the white one. And I've just taken a white oil crane, and I've just scribbled in some white markings. I can't really see them. And then I've got some watercolor paints, and I've got a brush and all I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the black paint, keep it nice and runny and I'm crossing my fingers here and I'm going to paint over the top really lightly and there is my Westie and my Scotty dog. Hope you like them.